Thank you, Adam. What are they breathing in? Fed up, frustrated, concerned. That's how neighbors who live near a scrapyard on Frio City Road are feeling tonight. Yeah, when they gathered for a community meeting two months ago, they were worried about air quality, but now neighbors are taking their concerns directly to city and state leaders. And some tell the night team's Avery Everett they believe their health is on the line. Even in a new year. Nobody should have to live that way, right? This neighborhood is dealing with old problems. I tell people, imagine living in a war zone. Residents around Frio City Road are frustrated. Who knows what could happen? Who knows what we're all breathing in? The neighbors we spoke to believe one scrap center is hurting their health after reports of smoke, fires, and explosions. Eventually, our problem is going to become everybody else's problem. KSAT 12 archives show this has been happening for years, with the most recent fire in September at a community meeting held to address the concerns in November. We finally got the attention that we were asking for. We finally started getting answers. In the new year, these neighbors are writing testimonials, hoping to hand deliver these concerns to city and state leaders, including the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, or TCEQ. What appears to be smoke is lingering around the sky of Monterey Iron on Thursday night, but it's nothing as bad as that fire from back in September. Now, a couple of months after that fire, we know TCEQ did an investigation into the situation, but they wrapped up that investigation by the end of 2023, meaning that there have been 32 total investigations into the salvage yard, but seven of those have been in the past two years. And now in 2024, there are no more open investigations. In a statement sent this week to KSAT 12, a spokesperson for Monterey says they have, quote, invested heavily in detection systems, mitigation systems, safety planning, and expert hazard prevention. But with sites like these, neighbors say they're far from giving up. My hope for 2024 is that there is a resolution to this problem and that the folks who are supposed to be policing are actually policing. Taking this new action now in 2024. Avery Everett, KSAT 12 News. So for the story, we tried to get a comment from District 5 Councilwoman Terry Castillo and a spokesperson released a statement which reads in part, quote, uh, which says that, excuse me, Castillo filed a council consideration request back in November to update city codes for recycling facilities. So we'll have to keep in touch with that. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.